In this process, I start with a really intuitive mark making exploration with charcoal and water. Sometimes I use wax. I'm using my hand, I'm using my fingers. Um, I love working with the charcoal. It's very organic and of course, you know, it crushes against the texture of the canvas, which makes it um, unpredictable. And this is what I love about the nature of working like this is the unpredictability of it. And while I'm working, it, it feels like I can go really deep into reflecting on the unpredictability and the temporal, temporary nature of the world and that we live in, um, human emotions and our human existence, and really how small and temporary our existence is. So my mind will go from thinking about you know, the hugeness of that concept of the whole of humanity and um, in a very um, philosophical level and then it will come down to the minuteness of what I'm doing in this moment and me being present in my body with my breath, the movement of my hand, making these marks on the canvas um, and just following like really the energy that wants to come out of my hand and in this way having begun with an intention of using my painting and my process as a prayer, as a ritual. Often it's for the situation and state of um, women or something happening in the world in relation to women. Sometimes it's just in relation to the chaos in the world in general. And I think my whole life I have been prone to, um, because of my upbringing as a very religious Catholic, um, it's been very innate in me to say prayers and to um, create ritual and be involved in that for it to become for me to make meaning from my life and these paintings are a reflection of that deep inward going um, thing that I do it's also a reflection of that deep state that we get into when we meditate or we pray um, and also the ritual of movement and using the body and um, and outside external um, items such as charcoal or canvas but maybe it's candles or um, you know maybe it's something wood or maybe it's sculptures or um, you know for me in my background also maybe it's icons of saints whatever it is to create this ritual of um, an experience that then reflects something that's going on in the world and it feels meaningful for me and then hopefully for those that look at the work as well and this work unfolded really organically. I was drawing upside down to begin with. Um, and when I flipped it over, I saw this face of this woman. So it wasn't an intentional, like I'm going to draw a face. It just showed up. And so I enhanced it and um, then got really involved in this background, which for me, oh, I just loved doing it. It was a real meditation. The time lapse is makes it look very fast, but actually I'm working really, really slowly. And um, it's, it's a real deep exploration into the tiny nuances between different shades of gray um, and black and different thicknesses of line, um, and, you know, contrasts and value. And then this bright red that just wanted to show up and red is a color I use a lot. Um, a lot of my work is influenced by, um, well, it's not influenced, but I'd noticed that I relate a lot to the work of Louise Bourgeois, as well as my old painting lecturer from university, um, the South African artist Penny Siopas. She uses a lot of red in some of her work, and I think it just kind of sits in my subconscious as I use it as well, especially when I'm reflecting on works that relate to the feminine, and to the situation of women in the world.